I'd like to share with you today, di ba, our acronym is practice. First is the power of the pause. R is the power of rest. A is the power of attention. The last time we talked about C as the power of... Ano yun? Compassion. And uh, last week, we talked about the power of thankfulness. If you remember, I hope that you have remembered something. There is always a short moment of teacher's, uh, uh, teacher's talk, uh, talking about contemplation. So, and um, today we're going to talk about the power of interiority. What is interiority? Something inside, no? It's we, being inside. And I'd like to point out to you, in the 14th century, they have already realized that the interiority is important. And this is the prayer of John Towler, the teacher, I mean the student, student siya, huh? the student of Meister Eckhart, the 14th century Dominican mystic. You have been praying for those of you who are with us at all times, uh, every Thursday sit. Uh, it says here, and I'm sure you can memorize this, when one practices contemplation, the human nature needs to experience interiority, interiority. But what happens? But the ego craves to have something. Kailangan may magawa ako. Kailangan may achievement ako. Ang ako, ako, ang daming ako sa buhay. Pero actually, ang importante, let go. Bakit na gumagaling ang mga tao? Actually, if naalaala nyo, nang maliit pa tayo, may konting wound tayo, no? Nugasan lang yan natin pagkatapos tapos na. The body has its own natural way to heal. But you need to rest that arm. May bindahe, linalagyan ng sling. But then in time, ha, in time, the interior factor of the whole human mechanism, in time, it will heal. What happens to the fox or a dog? When a dog is, <clears throat> is wounded. Jenny, can you get my hot water? <coughs> when the dog is wounded, What happens? They simply lick it, or they go, they go inside uh, a, a dark, no, kung super dami na yung wound ng ng dog na yan. They go into something, some place very dark. One to one. Cheers. <laughs> it's very good. That's ginger, huh? Natural healing, natural thing. So. They would go inside a dark space or a dark place and stay there. And eventually the wound will heal. And that's the goodness of interiority. What is interior? That's why right now, with all the fears of COVID, a lot of people, of course, a lot of people really die of it, no? Pero tingnan nyo, marami rin gumagaling. So huwag kayong matakot, sabi ni Sister Menchi kanina, COVID smells fear. Huh? So, interiority is a practice of contemplation and it is something that teaches us to just allow events to happen. But the ego craves to have something, aspires to know something, longs to acquire something. But until this triple desire for something dissipate, meaning to say, mawawala na, o ma-disappear, it will be very hard, it will be very arduous for the person to reach interior freedom. How could we receive interior freedom? Only to let go. Huh? To, to breathe in. That's why contemplative prayer is the art of doing nothing. Last night, I was listening to opera and also listening to my teachers, uh, Joel Austin and Thich Nhat Hanh. Huh? Thich Nhat Hanh is saying, la, last night what I heard from him is this, let go and allow events to happen. The interior part of us must be developed. 
And contemplative prayer is that what is that thing that teaches us. These people, the big speakers like R R Tony Robbins, for instance, uh, Oprah, what do they do early in the morning? They take time to sit 10 minutes, 20 minutes at the beginning, short moment. But later on, they, they would even expand it already to one hour. Others are just simply taking coffee in silence. And that, for me, is already a beautiful way of being one with the Lord and developing something in the interior. When we develop that inner freedom that whatever they say, you just simply allow events to happen and accept that already is a wonderful way of developing interior practice. It will be very hard for the person to reach interior freedom unless all this desire for something, all this craving will not stop. This cannot be done in a day, nor in just a short practice for some time. Hindi pwede na madali lang. Hindi pwede na practice ka ngayon, tomorrow hindi naman. Ang practice according to Mother Teresa of Calcutta is faithfulness. It's not a matter of being successful, but it's a matter of being faithful and eventually it's as here <clears throat> this path of contemplation is entered into with intense effort and arrived at with discipline <coughs> until it reaches a stage where it becomes a habit a part of our daily life so we need a dedication we need to develop through habit 